right. So you walk into the waiting room. Here is our waiting room. That's what I'm doing. And over here we have our jewelry counter and our please do not touch your piercings along with a wide variety of jewelry and our aftercare kits. Over here, all the education I have. Okay. And then heading back to the waiting room, water if need be. Oops, not waiting room, piercing room. Door on the piercing room. Here, and this is the main piercing room. You're getting me in this too, right? Yeah. Okay. And I don't, I don't store anything in here, so there's nothing in these drawers at all. So we're gonna pause for a second because I'm gonna probably fall on my face. Yeah. She's already got tying her <laughs> shoes. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So come on over here a little bit more. Our sharps container here, paper towel. And then my jewelry counter is locked. I'm just panicking everything. It's okay. So my jewelry counter is locked from behind. So when I'm helping customers, um, I just kind of slide here. So I don't have to be out there seeing as I'm the only one here. So I don't really have like a counter space. So. Over here is where I keep just counter stuff. So I have gloves, Optum wipes, cleaner, and then if someone wants to throw their jewelry at me, whoops, we have some little shot glasses as well as paper towel in the piercing room. We're moving on to here. So we keep majority of our gloves. Um, I mainly work out of these books. So the majority of my jewelry is all stored in these books just have some miscellaneous ones and then i just have just some loose jewelry pieces sometimes i'll put pre-sterilized stuff in here and i kind of have a catch-all i get really busy and i kind of just sometimes have to just throw stuff in here and figure it out later and then we have our piercing packs there here's where we keep all of our needles we also have some Tubing for balls. Have some of this crap if I absolutely have to use it. And then in this drawer is where all of the excess needles are. Moving over, we have our drapes, our Optum wipes, our saline that is used just for piercings, as well as two different kinds of gloves. More drawers for you, have some alcohol pads, band, rubber bands. I'm like dry, I'm, I'm losing, like, I can't think of the names of things, I don't know why. <laughs> I've got bobby pins, and then just some pre-sterilized stuff in there. Um, receiving tubes, extra gauze if I need to sterilize some, marking pens, and then tapers are all here. Masks, if needed, are here, and extra tapers are here as well. And then, obviously, our sterilizer is right here. Extra piercing packs. I don't anodize, but I have an anodizer. I'm scared to death of it. That's for another video. So I do have the anodization kit, but again, we don't anodize. All of my single-use tools are in here, which I rarely use tools now, so... They kind of just sit there, and then we have our spore testing kit and our integrators as well. Moving below is basic storage. Our bibs, Fourth of July decorations are back there. I have a huge, huge thing of crackers if somebody starts to feel dizzy, as well as just extra. Um, what are these? They they displays, extra displays. I don't know why I'm having a really hard time with stuff. 
extra statum stuff and then just organization if I wanted to organize more as well as some disposable clamps. Uh -oh. Over here we have hands-free, hands-free. I don't have a hands-free sink, but this is a brand new sink. And just general cleaning supplies are under there. Coming to this drawer, I'm sorry. It's just the general, I know where everything is, but I'm not gonna organize it kind of thing. Tools, deodorant, <laughs> whatever your heart's desires. It's probably in here. Need some sewing thread? We got it. Here we have just our general tools, label maker, stuff for statum if we need it. <clears throat> and then just our Bibles. We keep our Bibles down here and more display, display cases. Oh, we can't forget. This is where we keep our piercing guns. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, I do have this, even though I have the hands free. I have this because if somebody um, starts to feel a little dizzy, I like to cool them down really quickly so I can grab this and cool them down faster. This is my area. Just kind of stuff for the business. Um, not really much in here. Keys for things and money. Um, aftercare sheets. And this is kind of just where I hang out when there's no customers. I think that's good in here. All right. Coming forward to here is mostly just storage. That's what it looks like here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this with the camera. Can you get in? Oh, don't turn it. I have toilet paper, snacks, extra Q-tips I actually don't use anymore now that we have the packs, the piercing packs and paper. Tons of Optum and gauze and masks and just stuff that we we need. And over here is kind of just craft supplies, gift certificates, um, stuff like that. Miscellaneous stuff. Our printer and extra aftercare. And then um, this will make more sense when we go in the back. But this is just full of tumbler blanks. Obviously, customers don't go back here, but I just store all of the tumbler blanks here. We're good? All right, let's go. Bathroom. And then here is our bathroom. Make sure you get this sign right here. Have our don't remove or change your jewelry in the bathroom. Everything is hands free except for our sink. So we will work on that. I gotta get everything. You don't need to show the toilet. Nope, I'm, showing the the, toilet I'm showing the can okay. though. Okay, and then back here, back here is this no clients go back here. I'm just gonna show you anyways because it is in the shop. But um, I do have like a craft room for a different job. Um, when we did walk-ins, it was a lot easier to come back here and craft, but um, I have no other storage for this. So just letting you know that there's no piercing supplies at all back here it is all just craft storage craft storage underneath here and then just obviously like utilities we store our paper towels and stuff back here extra lights are back here but no piercing related anything goes on back here and last but not least um i share with neighbors and it's kind of i don't know i'm going to show you anyways but we're not going to take a big tour back here because I'm not the one that makes the mess. So out here's just the back area, just so you can see customers don't, sh babe, just sh real quick. Customers do not come back here. They don't park back here either. So that is it. Come on back in. It's cold out. Yes, it is. So turn and look at me. So that is it. That is the tour of my shop. Thank you for watching. We good. Hold on, five more seconds. Five more seconds. Ten oh, minutes. Hold on, it's ten minutes. Ten minutes of talking. Come on, babe.